It was an awesome weekend. I had some great friends stop by. I had a great Saturday Night Live. And we're kicking off the PS5 giveaway again for this month, or it's actually like a month and a half. Weekend before Memorial Day, we'll be giving it away. But right now, let's go pick it up on a Sunday night. Get delivered on Monday morning. Well, we made an ice cream day. I only got to pick up till 8 o'clock. So uh, we're hitting each other in the head. Oh, yeah. And here's a little bit of uh, truck stuff we did today. The son of uh, Jerry at Hey Guy Diesel brought his truck down and hung out with us for the week weekend. Really good seeing them. God bless them. Safe travels back home. And uh, we're just hanging out here for ice cream. Yep. All day. Good times. It's a cute puppy. Bye-bye, puppy. Bye-bye, puppy. Think so? You sure? Yeah. Did you like your ice cream? What kind did you have? I ate the whole thing. The whole thing. Bye, puppy. Bye. What a great weekend. Back to these two now. This will be the first run of that um, Volvo with the full synthetic. Uh, Shell Rotella 1540 full synthetic T6. Let's check it out. And we uh, drilled out our holes a little bit so we can put these on. The good old uh, W9. And haven't heard from the upholstery guy yet, but the floor guy should be able to get that done this week. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Let's go fire these things up. Let's get this one priming. All right. Still got to get these floors done. I already put that one in, but I had this one at home, so let's see, see if this one fits. There we go. There's no air, so they're not working, but <laughs> we have the fitment now. Awesome. Those will be pretty once we get all these switched out to toggles also with the red. Should be good to go. Let me get a new fire extinguisher holder. That one's seen better days. Get a nice billet one. And get these floors done. Can't wait for that interior to get in here. Let this one prime. Let's check that on. Clean and purdy. Fire up. Something else to kind of check and change on the regular guys are these little uh, filter glad hand rubber things. There's a filter in there already. And they uh, sell these other ones that have filters in them too, just extra protection. Change these out every now and then. You'll see the cracks that go around the outside. You want to keep that seal nice and good. Change them on both sides. Kind of hard to get in there, but you can snug them in. Make sure that's going in to the inside. What a beautiful Sunday, 72 degrees. It's been such a nice day. Um, this load's picking up. It says it's picking up in Duncan, Duncan, South Carolina. Uh, check the address, nowhere to be found. It doesn't exist. So if you have this come up, keep trying to search different cities or search the zip code. But also check this. You can see it's a brand new build, so there's nothing there. The address might not be listed yet, or but it's a whole different city. It says it's in Greer, but check those reviews. Um, it can help you a lot. And that, so someone left there kind enough to leave a review saying, hey, this is the correct address. So you can call the broker, but it's Sunday. They might not answer, you might not get hold of anybody, you might never ever find a place. So nice to just check those reviews. You never know if somebody was nice enough to leave you a good, um, uh, lead on the actual address so let's try that out and see if it's a brand new place which just looks like it's going to be and enjoy the rest of this beautiful sunday it's uh 7 15 at night right now it's still really sunny i love it let's get up there there's the pete store there's that pete we actually looked in right over there to the right and the dump truck <laughs> older video i had the boys uh go there to get there the oil filter for this oil change we just did that's where we got it from, the Pete 
store. It's actually cheaper than Truck Pro and uh, Fleet Pride. So, worked out. Well, let's get on this little frontage road, cross back over the freeway, and see about this new address. A little hairpin turn right here. I've taken this exact same frontage road and route to uh, pick up from Sun Paper. It's a uh, I make paper towels and uh, toilet paper and stuff like that. Right back over here, but that's been there for a while, so. Let's see what this is about for this new one. It's appliances going to Lowe's, so we'll see what we get. It's pretty that sun coming to those trees. Back over at 85. Three oh seven Ginobili. Uh, huh. This is the road, but then up there it says truck entrance, and that doesn't really look like the uh, GPS I was looking at. So let's try the next one. That says truck exit. So definitely a brand new facility. That's truck exit. That's Benor. Entrances over here. Let's see if this is 307. Let's see the address on that one. I don't see the address on that one. Okay. That's 1013. This is Minchua. Minchua uh, Inc. This is the street we're looking for. This is Ginobili, so I'm glad I didn't turn back there. Alright. Ginobili. Ginobili. We got down door number three. And the facility name actually says Lowe's, but it looks like we got Saddle Creek. And then we have Plastic Omnia. Huh. Well, it doesn't hurt to try because this is it. But it looks like that dirt field right there in front of us was what was on GPS. People are working here. Let's see if they know anything about Lowe's 307. What a pretty picture of the mountains over there. You can't really see it, but it is gorgeous. How are we doing? Pretty good. I'm just making sure I'm in the right spot for Lowe's. This is Lowe's. Okay, good. <laughs> RMT, thank you. Uh, it's going to be... Uh, JB Hunt. All right, good to go. Good to go. Thank you. So we were in the right spot. We just had to slide our tandems. That is good. Got all kinds of trailers. Schneider, GMP, a lot of GMP. That's actually the school. A lot of the guys that went to uh, CDL school, or actually the company, they went up and signed up for. Um, good company, I heard so. Not GP Transco, but GMP. GMP. Out of Columbia, South Carolina, I think it says on there. Yeah. All right, she said buy two bobtails. I don't want to block them in, but we'll go right over here and get it past them and walk into those doors. Big old facility, nice and easy to get in these doors. Employee entrance, shipping and receiving. There we go. Let's go for that. Bring our mask. Let's see what's going on. Should bring this paper too, so I'll probably have to fill that out. Let's do it. Bring a pen, bring a mask. It's breezy out here, but it feels so good. Saddle Creek. A lot of Walmart uses Saddle Creek too. East 68. Right. We're already on the east side. Okay. 68 is just a little further down. Okay. Yep. Make sure and then the green light come here. Um, wait, make sure your trailer doors are open. Uh -huh. Back all the way into the door. Detach. Okay. Part right all the way across over the there. Way. Yep. And
All right, E68, which they said right down there. Let's go get in there. Go. Was, uh, actually pretty quick <laughs> the review said you're gonna be here a little bit but um 30 minutes 30 minutes from dropping trail light red maybe 25 minutes and then gave me a call and said come get your paperwork so we're gonna hook back up to this trailer and uh probably go home for the night because it's like nine o'clock right now i could head all the way there but uh, i'd rather just start off early in the morning go see t-dubs watch a movie with her and uh that's it let's get reattached to this trailer Get back home about 20 minutes that way. All right, we're sealed up and headed out at 8:35. <laughs> nice and quick load. So if you ever come to NFI over here, the address is wrong. It's 307 Genoble Greer, not Duncan. If you see it on uh, JB Hunt, and it might show up right eventually, but right now uh, JB Hunt for at least is doing it wrong. Sealed it up back there. I have some giant. Um, looks like. Uh, deep freezers or something they're real long it says appliances so they take the whole width of the trailer uh, looks like some big freezers or something uh oh <laughs> gates closing she's calling in to make sure the paperwork's right and uh we'll be out of here i gave you hey, i gave you all of it thank you so much right. no worries have a good night right, thank you she was about to send me on my way without the uh the paperwork there i said hey i need that Slide our tandems back to where they were. It's a light load, only 10,000 pounds. There we go. Lock them in. That little brake lever you have for your trailer, use that. Tap on a little bit as you're pulling forward slowly. And you'll heal them. And you'll hear them lock in. So there we go. We are locked in now. Got our paperwork. Uh, let's see if this thing opens back up now. If we get close to it, she hit the button, but it stopped it. 
Yeah, I don't know. Well, we'll see if she hits the button again. Uh, yeah. No, maybe not. There you go. Alright. Turn and burn it. Cold trickle. We're out of here. Good morning. Let's uh get our keys and get going. Take a walk on the wild side. Do 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 do. Oh, grab a little early morning peach mango. Get going. We um waiting on wiring for the OBS giveaway, the '97 Silverado with the LS1, and all of our ICT uh, actually messed up and didn't send us these brackets that hold the bottom of the AC compressor. So they resent those out, and then uh, this is the alternator bracket and our new tensioner. Went ahead and bought a new power strain pump. That's what was, what was there's a bunch of residue on the left side of the motor, driver side. Um, power strain fluid was leaking pretty bad, so 90 bucks for a new reservoir, a new pump. So we did that, and then the pulley just presses on. So got that. That'll go in that other bracket that was missing. This our radiator's ready to go. Get that wired, and yeah, getting there. And we of course had a different. Um, Hose are, uh, what am I thinking about? Belt, belt length. And these are our collectors for our new headers. So hopefully we can get that wired up. He said Tuesday should be done, but we'll see. Oh, and our new uh, AC condenser. And our new AC line. There we go. Hopefully nothing else, uh, surely be something else, but that's where we're at now. <laughs> uh, take a walk on the wild side. I just parked the truck across the street last night um, because it's only nine o'clock when I got home, so I could get some more sleep and head out today at 4 a.m. Beautiful stars tonight. Let's take a walk. And on this walkabout, what do we come across? Oh, yeah. Still hanging out. It's supposed to be 81 and sunny today, so should be nice. He's already cut back a lot of the loom. And we're getting ready for our new computer to go in right there. There we are. See you later, old red. Soon enough, you'll be breathing again. There's old LDH. Sleeping good last night, hopefully. Let's get fired up, warmed up. And uh, it's nice out there. It's like maybe low 60s. Down to Florence. The sun's rising. Got the one on the love beside me. And the way station's closed. It's a little tiny way station. It's always closed. But every now and then it's open. will be a trooper there sometimes. It's like pulling one truck in at a time and then I think they turn the sign off and then just random pull-ins. I don't think they have any uh, cameras or nothing back there. I've never seen anything. So just a random pull-in on 26 going down to Columbia, about 30 miles outside of Columbia. You won't see a way station again until the state line going into Georgia. If you're heading south, northbound, I've really never headed up to 95 from over here. Maybe one time my first year, I don't remember. I've always gone south, Florida. Just never had, there's not a lot of stuff coming out of here. Charleston stuff comes more inland, back there towards Greenville or into Tennessee, kind of. Um, that's it, yeah. Beautiful sunrise on the way. Merging on to the 20. Going eastbound for about 65 miles. It's pretty bad through here. Rush hour time, but right now it's not too bad. Off to Florence. Thanks, Columbia. Sun is peaking. Ah, oh, there it is. Driving range down there, gotta play some 
came out of NFI and Greens, Greensboro, but both times they told me to be there at 6 a.m. and uh, they didn't open till like 8, so they, they told me to just wait. <laughs> so this one was the same thing, 6 a.m., uh, but I decided to get here at 8. Uh, experiences I've had before, we'll see, but they were like, yeah, you're a little too early. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Astro Van, what's going on? Carolina Blue Astro Van, I like it. There's a store right here called uh, Rivals. It's got Clemson and South Carolina uh, College Gamecocks and Tigers. <laughs> it's got both colors all over the place. Pretty cool place. Lots of stuff in there, I'm sure. That left side of the building, I didn't see much room for a 53 foot trailer. Uh, there's a 53 foot trailer down there. Kind of packed in around here. Lots of stuff everywhere. But they're most likely gonna, yeah, there's a couple trailers back here, so this is probably the way. Let's see. Du, 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 du. Fork left there. Du, 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 du. Exit loading is on, okay. Uh, Alright, we got one truck already in there, so. I'm gonna hold tight here. Go see what they want to do. Bring my paperwork. What am I gonna have? What does it say up there? It doesn't say anything. Alright. So, uh, let's give them a few minutes. No worries. Let me see where they're at. All right. She said they're almost done with that truck. Uh, and I'll get in there after him, so cool. And make sure you get some of these. Uh, beer loads sometimes, or well, all the time they put those on there. Um, but they put them on these also, so. I don't have them, I probably, I guess I should buy some of these. But you'll see these locks that you, you're gonna need them. The seals like this, the high security ones, you're gonna go ahead and need these uh, bolt cutters. I don't see anywhere on there what those are, but they're big. And there's different things in front of them, so I guess I got an assortment of things. And we're good. 
Take him a little bit of time to get it off. Not too bad. So I got some sun out here. It is a gorgeous day. That's why I'm not wearing a shirt. I don't think I'm being weird. Uh, we got another pickup, but I'm gonna end this video here. Um, this is kind of how you submit your paperwork and invoice for JB Hunt. It doesn't show you a lot, but it's this simple. You just click, click, take a couple photos of the BOL, and it goes on there. Check this out. And that's it, easy as that. Um, and then they pay you, I'll probably be paid in a couple days, probably Wednesday, maybe if not tomorrow. Um, and hey, check out Josh right here. Uh, thanks so much for supporting the channel. Just trucking dot shop, grab yourself a blanket, grab yourself whatever. Hopefully we're firing this truck that we're giving away, a 97 Silverado with an LS1 motor with a stationary cam if you're new to the channel. Um, that'll be given away in December. Every $5 you spend is a free purchase or a free entry to a no purchase necessary giveaway hats all kinds of good stuff in that store just truckin.shop and also today we kicked off the um in the description right down here i believe it is a little button you can push and it'll bring down some uh some columns with some links you can click on um just trucking wife has her own youtube uh just trucking underscore ig for our instagram we're trying to do a little bit more on that but we're giving away a ps5 again so we will actually get our hands on one and um maybe even pay a couple hundred bucks more than, it's, than it costs brand new for it but Check out the description, it shows you how to link it. The link is up, the, the contest has started. It's a no purchase necessary giveaway. And on the first place will be the PS5. Second place will be the merchandise uh, gift bag. A cool tote bag, a couple hats, a couple safety hats, a couple t-shirts, stickers, koozies, a tumbler, all the good stuff from the store. So that'll be second place, you get two chances to win. There'll be five keywords. T-Dubs will give us a video about them um, soon enough, but I'll just tell you uh, from now, which is April 12th, up until the end of the giveaway, which is May 29th, I believe it's Saturday. Uh, there'll be five keywords that I'll drop throughout the throughout that time. So listen for those. Uh, thanks so much, to Josh, for supporting the channel. And yeah, we're gonna doing the OBS is going. Hopefully, it's fired soon. Those, those headers are on. We gotta get the exhaust shop. The seats are getting done in W9. And at the end of this video, if you're into big lifted trucks like I have, um, Hey Guy Diesel, his son uh, Andrew came down over the weekend and. Uh, had a little fun hanging out with him Saturday night and Sunday all day. It was a great time, but uh, here's his truck that he just bought. Pretty nice Denali. Well, congrats, Andrew. God bless y'all, and I'll uh, see you in the next one.